we present text to gestures a transformer network for generating emotive body gestures of virtual agents emotions are generally represented in terms of their valence arousal and dominance valence measures how pleasant an emotion is arousal measures the level of physical excitement when expressing an emotion and dominance measures how much the subject feels in control when expressing an emotion studies in affective computing show that gestures are good indicators of arousal and dominance Emotions with high dominance such as pride tend to be expressed with an expanded upper body, spread arms and upright head positions. On the other hand, emotions with low dominance such as fear tend to be expressed with a contracted upper body, arms closed to the body and collapsed head positions. Again, emotions with high arousal such as amusement tend to be expressed with rapid arm swings and head movements. In contrast, emotions with low arousal such as sadness tend to be expressed with subtle slow movements. Different valence levels are not generally associated with consistent differences in gestures and are often inferred from other cues and the context. We now show two demos. In the first demo, the virtual agent converses with a human in a virtual chat environment using emotionally expressive body gestures generated by our text to gestures method. The human starts the conversation. How do I look? You look charming. But I can't go out. It's been raining all day. That's very tiresome. Yes, it's very damp and gloomy. And cold as well. And the pandemic is still at large anyway. I hope we get over this soon. We will if we all do our parts. And have a kind heart and be willing to share our concerns. In the second demo, the virtual agent narrates sentences from a fairy tale to a human audience using emotionally expressive body gestures generated by our text to gestures method. The day is so warm and the sun's rays so scorching. The water in the pond looks very cool and inviting. She felt she had been disgraced and put to shame till her life's end. Said the princess and this, I will not help you do. She dropped the ring and the feather into it and set it herself before him. When seven dragons rushed on him and asked him what he wanted. To summarize our main contributions, we develop a transformer-based network that interactively takes in text one sentence at a time and generates 3D post sequences of virtual agents corresponding to gestures aligned with that text. We condition the generation process to follow the intended acting task of narration or conversation, the intended gender and handedness of the virtual agents corresponding to each sentence. We also take into account the affective body expressions corresponding to the intended emotion in the text to generate emotionally expressive gestures. We conduct a web study with 600 responses in total to evaluate the quality of our generated gestures in comparison to motion captured sequences as well as the emotional expressiveness of our generated gestures. In order to achieve emotional expressiveness, we add affective features into the training of our network. Since in our experiments, the virtual agent is sitting down and only the upper body is expressive during the gesture sequences, only the joints at the root, neck, shoulders, elbows, and wrists move significantly. Therefore, we use these joints to compute our affective features. Our affective features are made of seven joint angles, five distance ratios between pairs of joints, and three area ratios between triplets of joints. We now present an overview of our text to gestures network. We first transform the words in the input text sentence to embeddings using the pre trained glove model. We use our transformer encoder to transform these embeddings into latent feature representations, taking into account the sequence and the semantics of the words. We then append our agent attributes to these latent representations and transform them via a set of fully connected layers to our final encoded features. Our agent attributes consist of the acting task as one of narration or conversation, the intended emotion as a point in the VAD space of emotions, and the gender and the handedness of the target virtual agent. We consider two genders, female and male, and we consider the agent to be either left-handed or right-handed. We feed the encoded features into our transformer decoder together with the gestures from the past time steps. Our decoder then predicts the gestures for the subsequent time steps. We train this full network using three losses. 
The pose loss, which is the difference between our generated 3D positions and the corresponding ground truth joint positions at every time step. The angle loss, which is the difference between our generated joint rotations for forward kinematics and the corresponding ground truth joint rotations at every time step. And the affective loss, which is the difference between our generated affective features and the corresponding ground truth affective features at every time step. To analyze the contribution of each of these losses, we perform ablation studies. We remove one loss at a time and retrain our network with the remaining losses. We visualize the performance of each of these ablated versions on four sample test sequences here. As we can observe, removing the angle loss makes the generated gestures heavily jerky. Removing the pose loss also causes some jerk and the generated joint trajectories also deviate a lot from the corresponding ground truth trajectories. Removing the affective loss reduces the emotive body expressions in the generated gestures, causing smaller arm spreads and lower head movements. We notice the best performance when using all of these losses together in our network. This is the end of our video. Thanks for viewing.